This hidden manifestation technique will blow your mind. It's based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. Today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful Eagle. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Hi flyers. We are here almost every day to empower your life with the law of attraction. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. Also want to remind you to visit us at law of attraction solutions.com. We have so many free resources on this website, free mentoring. We have free audio programs that work on your subconscious mind. We have free tests, manifesting tests that you can take. We have free eBooks. Visit us at law of attraction solutions.com. Hi flyers. Each of us is different. You know, this people ask me, well, why so many manifesting techniques? Well, because each of us is different and the same applies to this very powerful manifesting technique. I'm going to share this with you and then I'm going to share some variations on how to do it. You find the one that works for you because it does work. But then of course, if you're like me, you'll do all the variations and you'll probably do them all at the same time because I've had such wonderful success in my life using this specific technique. If you want a technique that is easy and instantly effective, use this technique. It's based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. So high flyers, what can you use this specific technique for? What is it good for? You can use it to attract a specific person to fix your marriage, to manifest large sums of money, to be successful in your career to heal your body, to simply be happy. So how do you do it? Let's begin. When you go to bed at night, you kind of, you know, review the day in your mind. So start reviewing the day in your mind and just kind of go through your day step by step. You'll notice that there are parts of your day that didn't go the way you wanted them to go. They weren't in harmony with your dreams and your goals and your intentions. Next practice a technique that we call mind editing. Now mind editing is literally taking the day and editing it in a way that as you review it, it's the day that was perfect for you. It's the day that everything happened the way you wanted it to. So for example, let's say you're reviewing the day you're lying in bed, you're falling asleep and, uh, you're thinking, man, I didn't get a text from this special person. I really would have liked a text now re-edit it, re-edit your memory and instead see yourself getting that text, feel how excited you are to get that text because remember feelings are the secret, right? So feel how excited you are. What you've done is you've literally rewritten your day. This now goes into your subconscious mind, especially if you've added feeling to it and your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what you just experienced and what you've edited. Here's the key. Your subconscious mind remembers now this new day that you have edited in your mind. That's what it goes to sleep remembering. And that's what it attracts more of that kind of day. Not the kind of day you really had the kind of day you created in your mind. Here's an example. You walk out to your mailbox to see if you received a check, a check that you're expecting. It wasn't there. Now do some mind editing. You walk out. There it is an envelope in the mailbox. You open the envelope and the check is there for more 
than the amount that you expected. How about this example? You've gone to an interview or an audition. You did your interview or your audition. And they said, we'll get back to you now, edit it right now and see it in your mind. As you go to the interview, you go to the audition and the person who is interviewing you says, normally we don't make a decision right away, but I'd like to make you an offer. I'd like to offer you the part. I'd like to offer you the job. You've re-edited your reality and created a new reality in your subconscious mind. Bam. That's what you start attracting with because that's what you fall asleep with every night. This is simple. It's fun and it's easy. And more importantly, it works. Neville Goddard says, do not passively accept the reality that is contrary to your intentions. So if you go to bed at night and you just accept the reality that happened, you're kind of going against what Neville's saying here. He's saying, don't passively accept it. So use my mind editing technique. It's your mind. It's your universe. It's your life. What you're doing is you're turning every negative experience into a positive mental talisman. Now, high flyers, I personally use this Neville Goddard technique with my dreams. So I wake up in the middle of the night. Maybe I had a dream that I didn't like. Maybe I didn't like the symbolism in it. Maybe I didn't like the outcome. I might have a little water, go back to sleep, but I go right back into the dream and I repeat the dream over and over and over again. But this time I use mind editing. I create the outcome that I desire in the dream. And sure enough, as I fall asleep, I'm dreaming this new dream, this positive dream. This is the dream I want playing all night in my subconscious mind. Neville says what you revise is what will transpire in days to come. Now, another variation of this technique is to go to sleep at night and think about what will be taking place the next day and create the kind of day that you desire. As you create the kind of day that you want to experience tomorrow, you are focused on, listen, feeling good, being happy, being motivated, being excited. It's almost like you can't wait to go to sleep and wake up. It's like Christmas morning. You can't wait for the next day. Let me give you an example. I uh, am not a huge fan of working out though. I know it's important. So I go to sleep at night and I focus on how good I'm going to feel after I work out the next day and I get excited about it and I see my muscles growing. And I see myself getting stronger and my posture getting better and everything improving in my life. And then I fall asleep. And the next morning, I can't wait to begin working out. The key is, is that you create a positive feeling that you're going to feel the next day when whatever it is that you're manifesting takes place whether it's you feeling happy that you're working out or you feeling happy that you received a text or you feeling happy that you got the job or you feeling happy that you're attracting more money. Bring the life you want into each and every day, the night before as you fall asleep. High flyers use this technique. I believe you're about to experience a real miracle. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.